how you feeling right now? We we got new we got new Mason talk, new Mason commentary. Yeah, I thought the interview was really good. Ah. Did you listen to it? A little bit of it, yeah. I don't think we got much info though. I would which, agree. Which, also, it, it, I'm I'm not saying we. He said he talked anything. to like all. He, he said he talked to the guys though. Yeah. But like there were really good like stories. Yeah. Just talking about him coming in with the Steelers, even going mm-hmm. back to college. He was talking about his recruitment at Oklahoma State. He yeah. was initially going to go to LSU. Mm-hmm. But then they started cheating on him a little bit because they brought in another five star recruit and he felt more wanted at Oklahoma State, but then even getting drafted here. Like that that whole story. Yeah, that was dope, bro. All the way up to twenty twenty three, like Mason went through. And then uh Yeah, I guess it was asked later in the podcast by Ramon of like, Yeah, what's your what's the deal? Are you coming back? Like yeah. obviously everyone wants you to come back. Mm-hmm. And he said Mason said he liked being QB one. He liked that feeling of starting and leading a team, mm-hmm. and wants to capture that feeling again. Yeah, which I don't blame him. So I mean, what is that? I, he didn't really say much. Like yeah. I, I feel like we all knew Mason felt that way. He answered now the question, appropriately. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And now the question is, where can you get that potential? QB one spot at Where, where's the best spot to do it? It might still be the Steelers. It might, but at the same time, you might be able to get better guarantees in terms of your legitimate competition stake elsewhere. Because unless those numbers are what they're supposed to be, bro, we know they have had bad history of doing Mason dirty, or just not, you know, giving him a fair shake in it. So that's my only thing. I'm like, regardless of if it was justified or not, that's a different conversation. But in terms of where we currently stand, there isn't a lot of trust, at least from my perspective, it wouldn't be a lot of trust from Mason that the organization would legitimately give him a fair shot unless they had to give him some type of financial commitment up front. Now, we'll see how negotiations go. You know my theory. The longer this goes, the better it is for Mason because he's going to get a chance to talk to other teams. Combine coming up, senior bowl coming up. Yeah, that's when you start throwing the fillers out. You start getting a little, all right, let me bump into that GM. Your agent talk to that dude over there. What they talk. Who you looking for this year? What, what type of guy you looking for? You trying to draft one? Bro, you ain't trying to get it up in the draft. You know you want to pay my dude over here. Come on, man. You'd rather pay four mil for a Mason, right? Then try to play your luck in the draft. Come on, man. Get this dude. Got the combine coming. Oh, man, he got bad medical, bro. You ain't trying to mess with that. Look at his knee. You, you want that big brace all that time, bro? You don't want that, bro? Come on, man. Just don't waste your time. So, the longer that goes on, the longer he's able to talk to other teams, the better it's going to be for him. Like you said, for the Steelers, you want to get that done sooner rather than later if you're true about wanting him back. But you can't, I don't think you can disrespect him with that initial offer either. And that's the other part of this thing, man. Typically, they, they typically deep, they like to disrespect you on the first one. I just think because of the history, you can't like come off the deep end with the disrespect at first. But they be trying it. Deke, I'm telling you, Deke, that first, Deke, when they first give you that first offer, when it's like, oh, yeah, we want you back, bro. That first one they send over, that's the one you'd be like, bro, ain't no way you just did that. Well, it's it's yeah. definitely going to be interesting because mm-hmm. Art Rooney even was talking about Mason coming back today. Yeah. And he also mentioned that what Mason did in those three games goes to show what this offense can look like. Do we like. have his comments? When, just, yeah, I can yeah, pull, yeah, yeah, pull him up. Pull him up. But he was – You know, that's the boss, I guess, I guess what I'm saying yeah. is you don't hear the owner talking about – Mm-hmm. Cam Sutton last year is an unrestricted mm-hmm. free agent. Like, oh, we're gonna make it a priority <laughs> right. to bring him back. Bring him back, or, seriously, bro. You know, other guys like to to just talk about Mason. Now, I don't know if the question was asked, but to talk about Mason in that light, this is the owner. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we are gonna. Now we might lowball, but I, the, the, I think I think we are very genuine in our interest in bringing him back and are gonna try. Does like, it's it not change? Like we're just gonna give him an offer and let him walk. Do, do your thoughts on that change if he was asked the question versus if he just came out and tried to say that? All right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, are we gonna get a video on this or what? All right. Like, yeah, who, who got the full transcript, bro? Yeah. Okay, let's see. There's a lot of quotes. I mean, when that when the boss man speak is quotables, you know that. That is the boss man. Shout out. All right, I got two right here. Art Rooney II said, an important draw for the Steelers' OC is making sure he helps Pickett take the next step. We still mm-hmm. feel confident with Kenny, but we can't discount what Mason did and can't discount the fact that having competition at QB will be good for everyone. Okay. 
Also goes on to say Mason Rudolph came in and showed what we're capable of when we do get quality quarterback play. Really competent. And we're interested in bringing Mason back. You had an OG speaking, man. That's another Arthur, just in case y'all didn't know. He goes by Art. He does. <laughs> but he's Arthur. I go by Arthur and then Arthur Smith. Does he go by Arthur as well, right? Yeah. All right. I know if he's Arthur already. Yeah, all right. Nah. So, yeah. So, yeah, he might go by Arthur and Smith at the same time. Whereas I just go by Arthur. Wow. So, and hey, then Mr. Rooney is art. Hey, your connections with the Steelers are there. I think All right, come on, bro. Deeper than what the chat on, leads man. on, right? You see what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> hey, man, I'm just throwing it out there, bro. Hey, hey, when you're named after the man, you all right. Just remember that, all right? You all right. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, that's what I got from the interview, though. Yeah. I don't think uh, my opinion on bringing Mason back really changed or – what I think Mason will do really changed from the interview. I think I think he yeah. handled it well, and it was it was a good, really good interview. It was it was good hearing some of the backstory with him. Yeah, no, I would agree, man. Um, for both interviews, right? Whether we're talking Mason or even the Mr. Rooney interview, I think in both situations, man, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to. For Mason, you're staying active, keep your name out there, don't let them forget what you did. Do your media tour, Super Bowl coming up, pull up on the Super Bowl, do your media tour. Because that's going to keep your name out. That's going to keep people talking about you. That's going to keep them remembering what you did and keep that feeling more fresh versus if you just kind of disappeared and we're yeah. like, oh, what happened to Mason? Oh, yeah, he had a little stretch. It ain't going to feel the same. So it's like right now, man, you got a chance to really push that and keep talking and just, like I said, man, hit different markets, different demographics, man, with, like I said, these national stuff that's popping up with the Super Bowl. You should definitely be out there. All right. But um, in terms of uh, Mr. Rooney's approach, though, I'm going to publicly love you. I'm not going to go over the top and make my in-house QB1 offended either. But at the same time, I'm letting you know, man, I'm publicly letting you know. Like, it ain't got to be personal. We ain't got to keep it to ourselves. I'm publicly letting everybody know, like, yes, I want you back. So I do think that also holds weight. Very similar to when we talked Coach Tomlin coming out and saying it. When the boss man says he wants you, man, it's a great feeling. When the boss man says he don't want you, that ain't the best feeling. You used to be like, dang, boss man. Like, yeah, you, be like, yeah, yeah you want the boss man to say he wants you, bro. In the interview, Seriously. That he met up with Omar Khan after yeah. the exit meeting. Uh huh. Because so, you, you right? got, all right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. We're looking to do business. You, you heard what I told you, bro. You go to, <laughs> it's Coach Tomlin meeting first. Then when he check your box off, you go to the Omar meeting. That didn't check your box off. Then you go pull up on the Rudy and check that box. You be like, all right. Then you hit your agent. We got action, bro. All right. Just be ready. <laughs> But if you don't get the tr- if you don't get the Holy Trinity, oh, it's a wrap, bro. All right, I done had the Holy Trinity twice. I had, you know, what I'm saying one time it was via phone call, the other time it was in person. I got to walk through and see them all. That last time, dig, I was trying to get the Trinity. I was like, yo, send me to the back row, baby. What's up, coach? Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Hey, bro, I think you should go and check that market out, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 it's money out there for you, bro. Go maximize what you can get on the open market. <laughs> Whoa, bro. <laughs> all right. It'd be like that, dude. Like, okay, just, can I just please? Can I just go? T- nah, nah, nah. You gotta go go out the front, though. Like, Dang. <laughs> yeah, bro. It happens. So for Mason, he gets to go to the back row. That's a good feeling, bro. It's a great feeling. You walk in the back row. Everybody, you see your homies going out the front door. You walk up there, like, yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm one of the boys now. Yeah, bro. It's, it's the feeling. It's the feeling, dude. Tell you, I put my backpack on, bro. I have never stood it with such confidence walking to the back, bro. You, you don't even want to go in the back area. So, unless it's that time of year when they tell you go back there, you're like, I don't go back. That's like the principal's office. We ain't going back there. You might get cut just for walking by Mr. Rooney's office too loud. He taking a nap. I ain't got time for that. Heck no. Nah. No, nah, you don't do that, bro. So, when the boss man, he's like, yo, go to the back seat of the paper. I'm telling you, deep, bro. It's a great feeling, man. Great feeling. <laughs> But yeah, if he tell you not to go to the front, they'd be like, God dang. You just put your hoodie on. Like, all right, coach, bro. Let's be real. I'm going to cry in the car. All right, don't tell nobody. 